We will now look at an example of test case and test procedure. We will do an exercise one on creation of test care and another test procedure before moving on to test development process. Each test case usually has test case name, which is the identity of the test case. It also include details of the test condition for which it was created and a set test preconditions. Test preconditions are prerequisites which need to be satisfied before the test case can be executed successfully. Test data and test post condition are also included in the details of the test case. Test post condition describes the state of the system which should be after the test case execution is complete. Test cases also have test case ID which increases sequentially and serves as a unique identifier for each test case. The test case description describes the action to be performed and expected results from each test case step. Here is an example for modified description test case. This test case is created a series of test cases used to test the test condition is edit description of item. The test case simulates one of the actions a user would perform regularly on the system in order to modify the description of an item. The user will search for the item by item ID and then modify the item description. In order to modify the description of an item, the user will search for the item by item ID and then modify the item description. In order to execute this test, we need to have a user ID which has updated privileges to perform this test, which is called precondition of the test case. As test data, we have ABC as username. XYZ as password, TN0765 as item ID. In step 1, user invokes the application from the desktop icon and the expected result is application should start and display the login screen. In step 2, user logs in using the username and password. The expected result is successful login with main menu displayed on the screen. In step 3, the user selects search from menu. The expected result of this step is that the search screen should be displayed on the screen. As step 4, the user enters item ID in find field and then presses the search button. Item properties screen is displayed as the expected result. The user clicks on edit button in step 5. We have item properties screen displayed in edit mode as the expected result. The user modifies the test in description field and presses the save button on step 6. Expected result is to get item properties screen displayed. Step 7 is to press main menu button and the expected result is to have main menu screen displayed. Post condition of the test case is to have item description updated in the database. If all the expected results of the test case are met, then the test case is considered passed. If even one expected result is not met, the test case would be considered failed. 